Hi there, Maureen from Color Me Positive PLR. I'm just going to do a quick tutorial on how to add a pattern to a silhouette image because a subscriber asked me, so I thought I would do this. And it's really very simple, so I'm just going to go, go and grab a silhouette. Okay, so let's see, I'm going to grab the dolphin, bring it into Photoshop. Okay, so a silhouette is just basically a black image of an image, right? <laughs> okay, I'm not to say that. Okay, so what I want to do is I want to go grab a pattern that I want to use. And these are great. These are um, Raven's newest pack uh, of Zen drawings, and they're really beautiful, actually. And I really really love using these as pattern fills because they're different and they're easy to use that way and when I do use them it's going to be completely different from what anybody else is doing with them right because you can't really put them up on KDP as they are okay so I'm going to go to my move tool go to view and fit on screen because the pattern's way too big for this image. So I'm just going to hold down my shift and my alt key so it stays centered and then pull it in. I'm going to click up on the check mark and go back to view, fit on screen so we can see it. Okay, so you have your dolphin down here which is completely covered by your pattern, which is what you want. Okay, now you're going to come over here to your pattern layer make sure you clicked on it and then just hold down your alt key until you see the down arrow and click on it once and there you go okay so the pattern what happens is clips to the silhouette right now you're creating a coloring book image so I always prefer having a, an outline around my coloring book images so what you're gonna do is come over to your silhouette image double click on it you're going to bring up your layer style panel and come on over to stroke click on that and there you have it you have a stroke around your coloring image so you can play with the size of the stroke make it bigger make it smaller depends what you like and I think that's perfect there so that's it. It's really very simple and very quick actually. And now you have a unique coloring image, right? And you would just save this image as a PNG file. Okay, so you can, you maintain the transparency on the background. That way you can overlay it onto other images if you like. Right? Now, in PowerPoint, in some of my uh, kits, I include images that you can just drag into PowerPoint and then put a, a pattern behind it. If you have a bunch of silhouettes, okay, silhouette images that you want to do that with, I'm just going to get rid of this pattern here. Um, like you have this, but you want to make it into an image that you can just drag into PowerPoint and add patterns behind. What you want to do is come over to here and go to image, canvas size, not image size, but canvas size, and make make it 8.5 by 11, if that's the um, going to be your book dimensions, right, the pages, and my coloring books are always 8.5 by 11. So just do that, okay? Now what you want to do to make this into something you can drag into PowerPoint is double click on this layer. You're going to want to add a stroke, okay, and then you're going to come to color overlay and make that, make sure it's normal and white. And now you have this image, okay. Uh, let's make the stroke a little bit bigger. Okay, that's good for me. All right, now to make this part transparent, what you want to do is come over to layer, flatten the image. And then what you're going to do is either use your magic wand select tool, okay, or your magic eraser tool. And then just click within the dolphin. And there you have it. So you save this as a PNG file as well because you have transparency in there. And then you'll be able to use this in PowerPoint 
um, by just putting it in there and putting a, a pattern behind it. So let me show you that. Okay, so I'm going to insert an image. And here we have some patterns, so let's just use this one. And then I'm going to insert the dolphin that we just created. And there you go. So you can actually make that smaller if you like the uh, pattern itself. Just well, actually, I'm making the dolphin smaller, so we don't want that. I want to make the pattern smaller. So let's do that. And then I'm going to move it over just a bit. I'm using my arrow keys here. And there, I like that. So that just makes it really simple when you're using uh, PowerPoint. Okay, If you create them like that, see how that's transparent there? And then you can just add a pattern behind it. Okay, we can do another one just to show you again. So let's use hummingbirds as my spirit animal. Okay, so now I'm going to insert a pattern that I want to use behind the hummingbird. Okay, so use whatever pattern you like. Mm. That looks kind of cool. Oh, that's pretty. Swan with a lotus. So you're just going to come over and you're going to go to picture format, send to back. And now we have the pattern within the, the hummingbird. Okay, and I want to make this smaller. And use a different part of it. There, I really like that. Ta-da! Now see if this, you can, you can actually just use the up key to make the uh, pattern fit so it's not hanging out kind of thing. And if it doesn't distort it too much, it's cool to do it that way, right? So pretty much that's it. I mean, it's easy and quick and it's a lot of fun, you know, especially when you get these kind of patterns with uh, Zentangles in them. I think they make really interesting uh, fills for this type of stuff because it's more of an adult uh, kind of work, right, rather than children. If you wanted to do a children's coloring book, you would basically not have any patterns because they need the bigger spaces to color in. But if you do want to make it into an adult coloring image, just use a pattern and it works really well. Okay, so I hope this helps and have some fun with it.